guys, today we're going to do a science experiment with pencils. And we're going to put these pencils through a Ziploc bag, and the Ziploc bag will have water inside it. Whoa, whoa, Ryan, so that means that the, oh, the water is going to leak through, Ryan. That's what you think. Uh-huh. First, let's put water inside the bag. Okay, let's fill it up. Do, 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 do. Hopefully Ryan's telling me the truth, because I don't want a big mess. Now we're going to put in food coloring for fun. I'm going to use blue. All right, maybe one drop. Right. Look at the color. Ah, nice. Look at the ocean. Next up, we're going to need a sharpened pencil. Don't forget to ask your grown up for help. All right, here we go. We're going to poke it through. Ah! Three, two, Is it going to work? Yeah, it's not going to make a mess. All right, it's poking through. Whoa. Look, the pencil's inside. <laughs> oh. oh, no way, guys. There's no water coming out. What? Why is it like this? How's it working, Ryan? Whoa. Do more, Ryan. Okay. I'm going to do a bunch of pencils. Whoa. What? What about you try, Daddy? Hmm? Ooh, can I do it? All right, let's see. I'm going to do it at an angle. Does it work? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, it works. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. Daddy did it from up to down. All right, I'm going to do it from the opposite direction. From up, down. Whoa. Whoa, it's working. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm going to do more. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! There's so many pencils. Ooh! All right, I'm gonna keep going. Woo! Woo! Let's see if I can do all of them. Woo! Oh! 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 Ah! I think I poked too much. Ah! Oh. Oh. Daddy, what about we take out all the pencils and see what happens? Ooh, good idea. Just yes. in case, let's put it in the ball, right? All right. All right. Okay. See what happens. Oh! Whoa. Water's coming out! Uh -huh. There's so Whoa. much water! Water! Waterfall! Water those! <laughs> Whoa, look at that! Well, there's so much water coming out! Like a shower! It's a waterfall of water! Wow, it almost filled up the whole thing. Thank you for watching a science video about pencils poking through a bag. Hey guys, today we're doing the baking soda in vinegar science experiment. But first, pretend this is a volcano. First, you're going to need some baking soda. So we have to put it into the funnel inside your water bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, next you're gonna put your food coloring into your vinegar, and I choose red. A little bit more. Okay, guys, get ready for an explosion. Remember, ask your parents for help. Fun, but I wish it was a volcano. <gasps> huh? Pep? Hi, Pep! Gosh! Ryan, did you know that you can make a volcano out of paper? What? You can? Of course you can! <laughs> I'll go make one for you! Okay! I'm gonna build a Lego robot. It's gonna be my best friend. All I need is the last piece for the head and... Oh, it's so cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. Peck, what are you doing here? We got a new science experiment for Ryan. 
It's going to be a giant volcano. A giant volcano? Well, uh, what do we need for that? First thing we will need is a giant box. A giant box. There's definitely one around here. Let's see. <gasps> oh, over there by Combo. Hey, Combo, pass the big box. Huh? Oh, this box? You got it, Bree. Hiya! I'm a little teacup short. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! This place doesn't seem too familiar. Huh? What's that? Looks like there's a volcano nearby. Let's go investigate. Whoa! This box is huge, and it is going to be the perfect base for our volcano, don't you think, Peck? Peck? Where did Peck go? Oh, well. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is cut this box down. So I finished marking my line. Where we need to cut, it's about four inches high, which I think is gonna be a good height to keep all the lava inside. So now all we need to do is cut. And once we cut the box, it should look like... And there it is! Oh, that is the perfect size for our base. Look how big it is. Now to make sure that our base is good and strong, we're gonna use duct tape. Well, the box looks great, but how do I build a volcano? Incoming! Oh, Peck, there you are. Uh, I just got back from gathering research data. First, we're gonna need these. A bottle and a cup? I think we can use this for the center of our volcano. Precisely. <laughs> so this bottle is gonna be perfect to put all of our ingredients in for the lava, but... I think it's a little too short. That's why we have this cup. I think that might be a little too tall. We can work on this. Oh, that is the perfect height. Uh, maybe we should glue it in place. Okay, just a little bit more glue. And I think that should do it. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, our bottle's not going anywhere, but we don't need this cap. It doesn't really look like a volcano. We need something. I don't know what. We have to build a body. I know what'll work. Okay. Yeah. Trash? Paper. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. So we're making the shape of our volcano. It's kind of a mess right now, so we're gonna use tape to hold all of this together. Now to form the body of the volcano with some tape. More paper. Oh, wow, Peck, you found a lot of paper. This is gonna be perfect. So the first thing that we need to do to start paper macheing this giant volcano is we need to take all of this paper and tear it into pieces that we can actually use. So something about like that. But we're gonna need a lot. This guy is very big, so. Yeah, this ought to do the trick. Rip the paper. <gasps> Whoa, Peck, great job. This is a lot of paper. What else do we need? Uh, well, to make paper mache, we need paper, which we already have, and then we need a bowl, some water, and the most important part, glue. So this glue is way too thick. So the first thing we're gonna do is add glue, then we're gonna add water and stir it all together to try to thin it out so we can put it on our paper. Now all we do is stir. Or agitate. Agitate, agitate, and when you're done, it should look something like this. Now we're all ready for the fun part. It's gonna be a little messy, so if you're wearing sleeves, roll them up. First, you dunk it in the glue, and then you just clean off all the extra, make sure the paper is good and kind of soft, and then you just 
slap it on the volcano. Slimy. Now the hardest part, we have to wait for this to dry. The volcano will take a while to dry. Let's go wash our hands. Ugh, yeah, I'm very sticky, so we'll meet back here later? Yup, I'm gonna go gather more research. Bye! <gasps> Ooh, One day later. Whoa! It looks so good and it's really dry, let's see. It's definitely hard and sturdy, ready for paint, but where is Peck? Peck? Hi, Ray. Peck? Oh yeah! I'm at a real volcano and um, I think we need to use a gray paint. Well, we can definitely make gray, Peck, but just make sure you stay safe, okay? Be careful. Now gray, we don't actually have, but we can make it with black and white. All right, Peck, uh, how do these grays look? Go for it, me. All right. Well, it's a big volcano. We're gonna use a big brush. And let's get started. We just finished all of this painting. This volcano is huge, it took forever. Peck, how does it look? It kind of looks just like a mountain. It could use some lava. Some lava? Oh yeah, <laughs> some lava. I'm gonna head back now. It's getting a little hot over here. <laughs> okay, well we'll see you in a bit, Peck. Now I have a great idea for the lava. What better than hot glue? I mean, it kind of looks like lava, right? Maybe? All right, let's see. So we're gonna try to build it up and see if we can get it to look like some big, giant lava trails. Whoa, that looks so cool! Ah. All right, now we're gonna use some orange and some yellow to give this lava some color. Oh, just a little bit more lava paint and oh, I think I hear Peck. Woohoohoo! Made it just in time. Oh, hi Peck. So we just finished our volcano and what do you think about it? I think our volcano is complete. Looks like the real deal, huh? Looks like the one I saw earlier. Let's teleport it to Ryan. Yay! The last thing we have to do is to get this onto our teleportator, potato. So let's just lift this guy up. I'm just kidding, it's paper mache, it's really lightweight. And off to Ryan we go. Goodbye, volcano. Have fun, Ryan. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Pat, for this paper volcano. It's so cool. Super cool. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it outside and then I'm going to erupt it. Let's go. First thing, baking soda. Cool. Okay guys, so let's pour in the vinegar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. There's so much green. Green lava! Hi guys! Today we're gonna to be making a rainbow baking soda and vinegar science experiment. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Okay guys, first step is you're just gonna need a cup of baking soda and then your favorite color. So what color are you guys gonna add? Green! Okay, go ahead. Kate did some red, Emma did some green, and Ryan did? I don't even know. Blue. 
Next, you're going to need to agitate to get something to agitate. Yeah. There you go. Agitate. Agitate. Good girls. Good Emma. Good Ryan. Look, guys, mine's almost fully blue. Wow, yeah. Keep agitating. Good. I'm going to mix it a little more. I'm going to mix it a little more. Yeah, see, you guys, colors are coming good. See? Red, green, and blue. Good girls and boys. Okay, so we done with our three cups. Now we're going to do these three. Okay, so Kate's going to do orange. Okay. And then Emma's going to do yellow. And then Ryan's going to do... Purple. Good. There you go. Add your color. Purple. It still doesn't look like yellow. <laughs> it will. Good. Like there you go. Orange yellow. Looks like Kate orange. Kate got her orange. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, there it is. Purple's out, but it's okay. Woo, look at the bubble. <laughs> look at that giant purple bubble. All right, start agitating. There you go. Agitate, agitate. Agitate, 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 agitate. Okay, we got our rainbow colors. Nice. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna pour all the colors into this pan here. So, Kate, you can start first with red. Pour it in. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we got our red, and now we're gonna do our orange. All right, there we go, orange. Ooh, nice. Good job, Kate. Next is yellow. There you go, good. I help you. It's okay, there you go. Good girls, wow, so beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's like a rainbow. Yeah. There you go. How is this a rainbow. Now we do blue. Good, there you go. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we accidentally forgot the green here, so Ryan's gonna pour the green. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> it's okay, we Whoa. can fix it. Spread out the green. It looks pretty, huh? Yeah. It looks like actually a lot of green. Yeah. It's like a rainbow, but now we need purple. That's right, purple. Yeah. Wow, so beautiful. It looks like a rainbow. It does. Almost done. Good job, guys. You're gonna need some vinegar here. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna pour some vinegar in each cup for you guys. Okay, there you go. Pick up some vinegar and then just do it. Yeah. Emma, squeeze. Like this. You see the bubbles? Mm -hmm. Emma, look. Whoa. Emma, look. Mm -hmm. I put some bubbles. <laughs> Wait, I'm mixing the Whoa. Let's just mix it over there. <laughs> I'm going to do this with all yeah. the colors. I'm just mixing the dough. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's a big one. I have a reaction inside Whoa. my cup. Whoa. That's cool. Whoa. There's this spot you guys haven't done yet. Okay, I'm gonna do it on one single spot. Okay. Whoa, that's giant. Another one. That was wow. Whoa! Yeah. Not the Wow, look at the bubbles. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pour it now. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun, huh? Yeah. Whoa! Can I touch it? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's super cool. Yeah. Thank you for watching our baking soda and vinegar rainbow science experiment. Guys, today we're going to learn how important it is to wash your hands. Yeah, so you know how long you're supposed to wash your hands for? Yeah. How long? 
You're supposed to sing happy birthday two times. That's right, so it's about 20 seconds, at least, okay? So, here's the experiment I want you to do. This is water, pour the water in there. Okay. Do it very, very carefully. The whole thing? The whole thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I helped Ryan. You did help Ryan. So, this is pepper. Any pepper you guys have, this is the one that I have in the house. Okay, so sprinkle some peppers in there. Yeah, take turns. Sprinkle more. You can do a lot more than that. <laughs> there you go. Next step is I want you to take your little finger dip it into the pepper water. Now, I want you to pretend these pepper water are germs. What happened when you take your hands out? Oh no, there's germs. You see, yeah, you see? And if you touch it, there's germs, right? Look, oh, there's germs on you. There's germs on me. I know. You see the germs? Yeah. Okay, so here's why it's important to wash your hands. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so that's what happened without soap. It just sticks on your hand, right? Ooh, germs everywhere. Ah. <laughs> Next, I want you to squirt soap into here. I want to do it. There you go. Can you squirt some soap into there? I hold for you. There you go. Good. All right, cake turn. There you go. All right. That's a lot. Here's what I want you to do. Take your little finger and then dip it into soap. There you go. Dip in a lot. Okay, so this is why soap is important. <laughs> First, Ryan's gonna do it. Okay, go ahead. Whoa! What happened? The pepper's going away from the soap. I know, it looks like the pepper's running away from the soap, right? Yeah. So think about it. So if these are like germs and bacteria, when you put your hands in soap and wash your hands, right? All the germs and bacteria are no longer on your hands. Yeah. They're running cool. away. Bye. Yeah, of course. It's my turn. Whoa, that's so cool. You see how it's running away? Whoa. That's so cool. Whoa. All right, Kate, you want to try now? Okay, guys, it's my turn. Whoa, it's running away too. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's like, oh no, soap! Ah! <laughs> That's why it's very important to wash your hands. Now we're gonna do it with glitter. Yeah, so you guys can take each take a glitter or a I share. Want, I want this glitter. And put it into water and pretend these are germs. There you go. I'm putting a lot. You're putting a lot of germs? Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit. Okay, oh, a lot of germs for Emma. There you go. More. <laughs> And then we can all share. Ooh, cool cake. There you go. I'm adding some white germs now. Yeah. I some white germs. Different types of germs. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the glitter. I mean, shake the germs. <laughs> I'm shaking the oh, germs. Okay, yeah. now let's try the power of the soap. Okay. Okay, soap on. Okay. Then, put it in. Wait, it's going away. Yeah, it's going, moving away from your finger? Yeah, it's like, wait. It was one right here and it was like, poof. <laughs> yeah, ooh. All right, Kate, your turn. Here. <laughs> Dip it in there, we gotta, use, we gotta use quite a lot of soap. There you go, good job, girl. And then it's, it's starting yeah. to go on now. Put this one away. <laughs> Go, Emma. Whoa, did you see how it separated? Yeah, separated. Good. All right, that's so cool. So now you learned why you should wash your hands. It's time to wash your hands. Yay! Now it's time to wash my hands. Okay. So far. Good job.
job. No. Okay, now kick turn. Happy birthday to Kate. Happy birthday to Kate. Happy birthday to Kate. Happy birthday to Kate. Happy birthday to me. Good job. Happy birthday to Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. One more time. Happy birthday to Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. Good job, Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. And that's how important it is to wash your hands. And you should wash your hands too for at least 20 seconds. Hi guys, today we're gonna do the balloon blown up by yeast experiment. First, we're obviously gonna need yeast. <laughs> Did you know that yeast is a living organism like us? And we can activate them using sugar. Yeah, so we're gonna do an experiment to see how much sugar we need to blow up the balloon. Okay, so fill the bottles with one inch of warm water. Perfect, now it's an inch. Now let's do the other bottles. All right, we're gonna keep going and add the yeast to all the bottles. Ooh, a lot more yeast. <laughs> Yeah, so we actually have used five bottles. The reason why is this one, we're gonna have no sugar, one teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoon of sugar, three teaspoon of sugar, and this one, instead of sugar, we're gonna use honey. Yeah, to see if it works, and how much of a difference it makes. Over here, we're gonna use honey instead. Yeah, we're gonna use one teaspoon of honey. Whoa, this is a lot of honey. I think that's one teaspoon? Mm-hmm. Okay. Goes down. Okay, let's put this on. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so Baker also put yeast into the bread, and the bread will rise just like how the yeast will also rise up this balloon. Okay? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, look, Ryan. I know, it's going up. Already. But what about the third, the one with three? Yeah. Maybe we need to shake it hard enough? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to, maybe it just takes more time. I yeah. guess we'll find out. All right, we will be back. Yeah. One hour later. Hi guys, now we're back. All of the ones with sugar and honey worked. Yeah, so what do you, worked a little bit. Yeah, so what did you notice, Ryan? So the one without any sugar, did it work? No. No, the one with one teaspoon of sugar worked a little bit. Yeah. The one with two teaspoons of sugar is a little bigger. Yeah, and the one with three is even bigger. Yeah, so did honey work? Yeah. Yeah, it did, yay! yay! So there it is. So this process is called fermentation. Can you say it? Fermentation. Fermentation, that's right. So the yeast feed on the sugar, and then what came out of it? What's in here? Gas. Gas, what kind of gas? What carbon. I oh, carbon dioxide. Carbon yeah. dioxide gas, that's right. Yeah, it also, also releases an alcohol called yeah. ethanol, but ethanol stays down here, and the uh. gas goes up into the balloon. Boing. <laughs> Maybe you guys should also try this out. But instead of one teaspoon, do like one tablespoon. Yeah. And lots of honey. Right, so instead of honey, also maybe you could use like syrup oh. or anything that's sweet. What about yeah. salt? What do you think oh, salt yeah. will do, right? Hmm. Yeah, if you guys test it out, let us know. Hey guys, what do you think would happen if we put a balloon on a bed of nails? <sighs> so guys, if you do this at home, make sure you ask your parents for help. All right, so today I'm in charge, Ryan. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you think the balloon's gonna pop or stay the same oh on top of- wonder. Yeah, on top of this nails. Instead of trying it out with a lot of nails, 
Let's do it with one. Let's see what happens. I think it's gonna pop if you put a lot of pressure. All right, let's see what happens. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, apply same pressure. Pop. Whoa, that was scary. <laughs> Alright, so guys, now let's try the same thing with a lot of nails. Yeah. Guys, remember, there are a lot of nails. So remember, ask a grown up for help. Yeah, because they're pointing, right? So you don't want to touch it. Here. Okay. Alright. You guys ready? So set the limb. I think I know what's going to happen. So, and I'm going to use this board so it won't go up anywhere. Ready? Mm -hmm. Press it. Whoa! Good. Uh, Guys, I'm pressing really hard, but it's still not popping. You see it? <laughs> How come there's so many nails, Daddy, but it didn't pop? The first time we apply the force into one nail. So the area that we apply the force is a very tiny area right here. Okay, the second time we apply same amount of force, but this big of area. For example, if I press you with my finger, <laughs> right? But then same amount of force, but if I do it with my palm, doesn't hurt, right? No. But I'm applying same force, but in different area. Ow. See? Ow. But Daddy, can we see how much force it takes to pop the balloon with the giant area? Alright, let's see. Because earlier we couldn't pop it. Daddy, it was like all the way down here. Uh, if I press it on my 100% force, what's gonna happen? Uh, Are you go. doing 100%? No, not yet. Oh my gosh! It's still not popping. Can I even pop? No way! It's still not popping. Are you at 100% yet? Yeah! Oh my gosh! You ready? Okay. I'm gonna reach my 100%. You ready? Okay! okay. Ooh. Still not popping! Look at oh, this! Look at that! Oh. Wow. Oh, that looked hard. But did you see how much force I applied? Yeah. Because the area was so much bigger, so I have to apply a lot bigger force to pop the balloon. That was so cool. So now we're going to see it in action again. All right, let's go. Whoa. Again, pressing a lot. Whoa. Pressing a lot. Do you have to go all the way back down again? Yes. Still no? Whoa! Ow. Almost all the way down. Ooh. Whoa. Ah. That was so cool! Yeah, this experiment teaches you the concept of a pressure. The pressure is the amount of force applied over the area. So the smaller the area is, the higher the pressure. For example, with the same amount of force but applied in a smaller area, it makes the pressure higher. Oh, your finger hurts, Ryan. <laughs> so, same amount of force, but the, the one you're point, uh, pressing with your finger is higher pressure than the one you're pressing with your hand. Yeah. Okay, guys, remember, or stay happy and rise up. Bye. We're gonna pop another balloon now. Uh, see, it's really hard. Uh, whoa. What you doing? Oh gosh, definitely not eating sugar. Uh-huh, this looks pretty cool. What you got going on? Making some rock candy for Ryan. Oh, you know the best thing about rock candy? It's actually really easy to make and it's only two main ingredients, sugar and water. Bink. 
Sugar, 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 sugar. He really likes candy. Let's get started. And it looks like geodes, which is cool and it's the best. And it's also on a stick, so it's easy. The first thing that we're gonna do is build the very center for our rock candy. Now we are gonna use these paper sticks. Mmm, paper sticks. You don't eat the paper stick. It's kind of like what would be in the center of a lollipop. We're gonna take the stick, we're gonna dip it in water like this. Uh, well, we need sugar too. We definitely need some sugar. So let's get some sugar on a plate. Perfect. Yay, sugar, woohoo! Sugar, 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 sugar. Yeah, sugar. sugar. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that. Now that we have our stick all nice and wet, we're gonna roll it around, get some sugar on here, and it should look something about like that, which this will give our rock crystals plenty of stuff to grow on. Now that we have all of our sticks coated in sugar, we're just gonna set them aside and let them dry so we can use them later. Now we can commence with the creation of our rock candy. <laughs> uh, that's right, Peck. Uh, maybe I should just take this sugar away and put it over here. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is add water. We are gonna add one cup of water, which all I could find was a half cup measuring cup, so we need two of them. Then we're gonna turn on our cooktop and we're gonna turn it on boil so we can get it cooking. Oh, bubbles. Now we're going to add our sugar. We're going to slowly mix it in. We're gonna try to use about two thirds cup but we have to make sure it dissolves fully in the water. We have a bowl of sugar water now. What are those jars for? Well, that is a good question, Peck. We are gonna use all these different jars to grow our individual rock candies. Now, we don't need the lid because this is actually gonna go in here just like that and grow all of our crystals. What about the color? I want to see a rainbow. Well, Peck, <laughs> why do you think I have all this food coloring mm. right here? For our rock candy, we're gonna make red, orange, green, blue, purple, and I think I'm gonna leave the last one clear because I just wanna see what the regular rock candy looks like. Red like Red Titan, cause he's super red. Orange like Mo, he's so crazy. Green like Gus, cause he's a gator. Blue like Gil, cause he's super chill. Purple for Peg, cause purple's the best. See through like a ghost. No, I'm kind of scared. La 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 la. Wow, la, Peck, la, la, that was really yeah. something. <laughs> Moving on, the last thing that we have to do to make our rock candy is we just take the centerpiece, our sugar sticks, and then we just put them right in the center. And wait, we need to hold it in place. And well, I don't have six arms, and if I let it go, it's gonna, it's gonna fall. And oh no. Oh, don't worry, Bree. I know what we can use. Okay, Peck, hurry. Be right back. <sighs> I sure hope Peck gets here soon. I'm getting so tired. <gasps> hey, these are perfect. <gasps> oh, that is much better. It was a success. Now we can start making the candy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. ha, 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 yeah. How long do we have to wait? Like. Five minutes? <laughs> oh, I mean, 10 minutes. Mm. 30 minutes? No, Peck, it's, it's gonna be more like five days. Five days? What? But, but that's like 7,200 minutes. No! Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go. Don't worry, Peck, you got this. I'll, I'll see you in five days. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, since we're just waiting here, how about we take a look at the science behind rock candy? <gasps> so, water and sugar are both molecules. Now when we heat up the water, the water molecules spread apart. And then we're left with all this space that we can add a lot of sugar to. Hey, bring in the sugar! Look. <laughs> Great job, 
apex. Now that we have all this sugar, this is called a super saturated solution. As our solution cools, the sugar begins to crystallize. And these crystals form rock candy. Speaking of rock candy, I think ours is ready. Let's go, let's go. Mm, candy. Mm, sure. Peck? Oh, Peck! Whoa, has it been 7,200 minutes? It has, which is why I'm here. It's candy time. Candy, 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 yeah. But, but, how are we gonna get the candy out? <laughs> You're right, Peck, these are stuck in pretty good, but I think we can use this regular plain Jane spoon to maybe chisel it out. So we need to break the top layer. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a lot of sugar crystals. Whoa, there we go. Oh man, it is all sugary and sticky and yummy. <laughs> we definitely need this to dry. So we're gonna use this cup to let our rock candy dry so it collects all this really sticky stuff and we don't make a mess everywhere. Oh wow, it looks so tasty. And crunchy. You got it. Mm. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I can't wait to try some. Mm, mm. Wait a second. That blue one looks broken. What happened? Well, Peck, the stick got stuck in the jar when I went to pull it out, and that's because it was a little too close to the bottom, and all these crystals grew around it. Um, Bree. Is it okay if I try some of the candy now? I've been so patient and helpful. <laughs> we can definitely eat all of this rock candy. Really? As soon as it dries. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh gosh, I can't take it anymore. Oh, I'm gonna... Huh? The candy's ready. My patience finally paid off. Uh, yeah, sure, good good job, Peck. Now is the best part. We get to taste test. Ooh, Ooh shiny. Look at all those crystals. They are so yummy and shiny. And the best part. Mmm, that is really good. Mmm, this is so good. It's filling me with Energy! Whoa! And the best part about this is, it's so simple to make, you can make it at home too. It just takes a little bit, it takes a little while. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna eat the rest of them. Uh, maybe, it, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll save those for later, Peck, okay? <laughs> Thank you for showing me how to make these rock candies, Peck. It's so cool. Oh, what are those? You want to try rock candies? Yeah. I picked blue one. Oh, this is so cool. And it is great. Oh, it's so sweet. Hey guys, today we're going to put our trolling and then make it float on water. So this is very easy. All you need are some markers. A plate and some warm water. First, draw what you want on the plate. But well, I'm gonna make a stick figure with multiple arms. Wow! So like this. Maybe make it really thick. Like this. And you make arms. And then you make the legs. So after you make your drawing, then you put some warm water on the side. Oh, he moved. Look, he's dancing. Oh, his arms too. Oh, I feel like the arms or legs is gonna break. Oh, it's moving now. Yay! Now he can just walk. Do, 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 do. There you go. This is 
easy way to make your stick figure float. Do, do, do. Do, do. Oh! He broke! This is so cool. You can hold it. Okay guys, for the next one, I'm gonna make a dog. It should be like this. And then maybe I can put like ears. I feel like I'm making a cat. I'm making a big dog or cat. <laughs> oh, I can't do it, right? Unless I do like this. I put an R. Okay, then I'll make the legs. And then the arms. I feel like I'm making like a super strong cat or something. Okay, now I'm going to put red right here. And then I'm gonna make this red. And then I'll make the eyes red. I want the ears. Okay, so I'm coloring the pants. He has jeans. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make the skin color purple. Okay, I put it here. And I'm gonna put this part green. Okay, like this. And perfect. Okay, guys, let's see this. Float. Ooh. Okay, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, I'm missing one leg. Oh no! The other leg broke off. Oh. You can run away though. Oh! Ah! His arm! No! No! His face! Oh! Oh no! My dog broke! That's okay. Let me show you some cool ones that worked. Roll the clip. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us do Drawing Float. Hey guys, I know you've heard of the Coke and Mentos experiment, but have you heard of the Salt and Coke experiment? So first, I'm gonna show you the Coke and Mentos experiment. All right guys, time to have some fun. Whoa! And the reason why is... So there is carbon dioxide gas in the sun. 
and salt is added to the soda, the carbon dioxide gas latches itself to the tiny pumps on the salt. As more carbon dioxide gas accumulates around the crystals, the gas becomes more buoyant, so it rushes out and escapes, causing an explosion. Wow, that was so cool! I didn't know salt and coke would work. Bye, thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Hi guys, today we're going to do the Diet Coke and Mentos giant experiment. Yeah, we got this giant container so we can put Mentos in one side and on the other container we can put Diet Coke. First we're going to do the regular way and see what happens. I'm going to do mine first. Three, All right, pull the tab. One. Oh! 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 That's so cool! Oh! 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 Oh, you got something to hang up on the wall. <laughs> okay, guys, now we're going to fill up the giant containers with Mentos. First, we're going to fill that with the Mentos, and on this one, we're going to put Diet Coke after that. Right. You want to carefully put them in because... Second one coming. Oh. Way too much. Nice. All right, it's all in. Let's see how heavy it is. Can I even lift it up? Oh, yeah, barely. It's heavy. Ugh. Put it down. I want to try. Oh, I can't. It's heavy, right? I can't lift it down. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this. Like, I can lift one of these, but I can't lift like thousands of these. <laughs> okay, we're filling the other one up with Diet Coke. Right, Let's see how much it fills up with just one bubble. Ooh, look at that it's going to fill up a lot. Ooh. We actually might only need two bottles. Why don't you guys take a guess? How many Diet, Diet Coke bottles do we need? So, fill this up. So far, we've been using. This is the third one, right? Yeah. yeah. See, my guess is five bubbles. Oh, 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 we did it! Okay, now we fill up too much. How is the Mentos is gonna go in there? I didn't think about that. There's no space for Mentos. Wow. That is not smart. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time to start, but safety first. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, I need you to hold it steady, okay, Ryan? I don't want that filled over. <laughs> Super hard. You guys ready? Start pulling. Three, two, one, go! Guys, look, you didn't splash. What are you, what are you doing, Ryan? <laughs> uh, I like somebody's happy. What's gonna happen? Are they, are we, do we have to wait? No, I guess it didn't make a bubble. Yep, it did not work. But, good thing is we have more Diet Coke. <laughs> Guys, I wanted to try this one, but I have an idea. I'm gonna prank Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Ryan. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm soaking wet. I guess you can use that as a water blaster. Hey, guys. 
today we're going to be testing out items that are liquid in our house to see if it's acidic or if it's basic. Yeah, so we gather around 10 things around the house and we're going to test to see which one of these items are acidic and which of these items are basic. Well, how do you tell? Uh, isn't this uh, acidic? I guess we'll find out, Ryan. How do you tell, you ask? A oh, you thingy. Didn't, you didn't ask, but how do you tell? We got these strips called universal indicator, so it's gonna indicate to us if it's acidic or basic. We're gonna dip it in different liquids and it will change colors, you see? So, uh -huh. anywhere within these colors, one through six is acidic, and if it goes from eight to 14, if it's any of these colors, is basic. And then if it's green, it is seven, which is neutral, okay? Ready to test them? Yeah. I'm gonna test orange juice first to see if I'm right. I think it's acidic. Acidic, okay. So we're gonna take some of orange juice. We just need a tiny it's bit. Is that enough? Yeah. Here is your universal indicator. Mm -hmm. Dip it in. Now we're gonna take it out, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I did say dip it. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one it is. All right, which one is orange juice, Ryan? Which color is it oh, close to? It's three. Three, okay, so three is on the acidic or basic? Acidic. Acidic, right here. Good job. So orange juice is right here. Yeah, so about number three, good. Next, I'm gonna test this baking soda. All right, before you test, can you give me a guess? Acidic or basic? <laughs> I feel like it's neutral. It's neutral? So Ryan thinks it's gonna become this color here for neutral. All right, let's see if Ryan is right. What do you guys think? I don't think it's acidic, but I don't think it's basic. Really? Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's okay. Wow. So because it's not a liquid, you know what we have to add to make it a liquid? What? Take a while, yeah. Waiter. Waiter? Waiter. <laughs> a waiter? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a waiter here. <laughs> what? Water. <laughs> Usually pure water is neutral. Yeah. But because a mommy had used some of these water, it's probably been exposed to the air. And so it's probably a, bit, a little bit acidic, but it's okay. It'll still work. I think that's good. Okay. Agitate, agitate. Don't forget to keep agitating. For 10 hours. 10 hours later. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Let's see if Ryan's right. Ryan is this neutral. Let's see. Whoa, it's green. Okay, so let's match it up. Okay, let me dry it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, where does it go? Where does it go? Like here? You think so? Maybe. It's either basic or neutral. I'm guessing it's basic. Okay, so basic it is, so. Basic. Basic. <laughs> we got baking soda. There we go. So we have one acidic so far and then one basic. Next liquid I'm gonna test is soda. There we go. What do you guys think? Is soda acid or hmm, base? I wonder. What do you think, Ryan? Probably a shit. Acidic, okay. Here's your universal indicator. Let's see what it indicates. It indicates an acidic. Acidic? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's like the same as the orange. Oh! Ah. <laughs> same, huh? Yeah. Here it is on top of the lemon, no, not lemonade, <laughs> orange juice. So they're both acidic. Next, we're gonna try out Tums. Do you know when you use Tums? When your tongue <laughs> has a stomach ache. That's right, when your tummy hurts, right? Yeah. So, let's figure out, is the tongue an acidic or basic? What do you think? Probably acidic. Acidic? Okay, so look at the name of Tums, Ryan. It says, a Tums is an anacid. What does an mean? Think about the word ant, like anti-bullying, anti-social. What does that mean? It means Against. Against, so against acid. So what's the opposite of an acid? And basic. Basic, but we'll see if it's right, okay? Yeah. So first, because this is not liquid, you're gonna have to put it in. You have to put it in water. Water, good. Ryan's pouring some water. Okay, 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 okay. Ryan, bonus question for water. Do you know the chemical compound of water? Uh, what? What is the symbol of water? 
H2O. H2O. Or Agua. Or Agua. <laughs> Here is a Tums for you. Okay. A Tums. Have fun. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. So, so we might have to crush the Tums. Smack, smack, smack. Ten seconds later. Now we put in the universal indicator. And it says it's an eight. Okay, so let's test it out against the chart. Okay, let's see. So it's none of these. I think it's this one right here. It's eight? Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Okay, there we go. Tums is a basic. That's right, yeah. So when you have a tummy ache, it means your tummy is maybe too acidic, so you want something to fight against the acid, which is something basic. <laughs> to neutralize it, yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna try some milk, my favorite drink in the world. Okay. Good. Oh. And now the universal indicator. What is it indicating? It's indicating this one, I think. Five or four, they kind of look exactly the same. Oh between a four and a five, right? Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean for milk? It means it's a acidic. Acidic. So far, these three things are acidic and these two things are basic. Next, we're gonna try out vinegar. I think it's acidic. You think so? I think it's number one or two. You think it's that strong? Yeah. Okay, let's see. That's enough, there you go. That's enough. Oh. Now I'm gonna use a universal indicator. Wait, it's number two. Yeah, it's number two. Well, you're right, Ryan, yeah. So what does that mean? Is, is it more acidic or less acidic than the milk? Um, uh, more acidic. That's right, more acidic. So here is neutral, neutral seven. So the further you go away from neutral this way, the more acidic it is. And then the further you go away from neutral this way, the more basic it is. Vinegar goes right here. There you go, so which one of these are the most acidic? Vinegar. Vinegar, because it's further away from seven. Good job. And the one that is the most basic is basic soda. <laughs> basic soda? Yeah. <laughs> Baking soda. <laughs> Next, I'm going to test out ketchup. Put some ketchup. There you go. Perfect. We have to actually put a little bit of water in. Add the tape. <laughs> so what do you think it is before you use the universal indicator? Probably... Basic. Basic? Okay. No, I think acidic. Acidic. It is acidic. Okay, which number? Let's see. Wait, it's number three? Another three? Yeah. Well, we have three threes. Yeah, you guys, if you notice, you've been eating and drinking a lot of things that are acidic, correct? Yeah. Next, I'm gonna test out Alka-Seltzer. Okay, do you think Alka-Seltzer is acidic or basic? Probably basic. Basic? Yeah, so you also use Alka-Seltzer if you have like a tummy ache. So it's also an antacid. Whoa, but I like Alka-Seltzer. Look how it spins and bubbles. Yeah, put it in. Hello. Whoa, it actually didn't change color. Really? Interesting. Hmm. That's an interesting. Oh wait, no, I think it's drying. Oh, it, so maybe you have to wait for it to dry. Yeah, because it kind of looks green. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Hmm, let's see what it is. Oh, I think it's a number nine. It's a basic. Okay, yeah, it's a nine. So is it a weak basic or is it a strong basic? It's a weak basic. Yeah. And there you go. Next, I'm testing out lemon. So you know lemon is really sour. So do you think lemon is acidic or basic? Probably acidic. Really? Okay. It's probably gonna be a three, two, or a one. That strong? Yeah. Okay, let's test it out. Okay. I want to use two hands. Okay. Now let's put it inside. It's probably acidic. It's number two. That acidic. Whoa. Oh yeah. 
Oh, you're right, Ryan. So it's pretty strong, huh? Yeah, we can put it right after the vinegar. Now the last thing we're gonna try is some toothpaste. Ooh. I'm pretty sure we need to put water. Enough. Agitate. 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 It's probably done. Time to use the universal indicator. Wait. What do you think it is? Probably neutral. Neutral? I mean, no, not neutral. I meant a basic. A basic? Okay. I'm a basic. What do you guys think? Okay, you gotta wait for it to dry. Wait, I, I think it's already green. It's getting green, but it's a still wet, so we can wait for it to dry a little bit. But yeah, it's already turning green. So it's either a neutral or a basic. Okay. Seven or eight. Let's wait a little bit longer. Let's see what it is. I think it's an eight. An eight? Yeah. So what does that mean? <laughs> that means it's a basic. Basic, here you go. Here is your lube of toothpaste. Basic. A lot of things that you drink and eat are acidic. Acidic. So that's dun, what. Dun, dun. <laughs> Since a lot of the things that you eat and drink are acidic, how do you get rid of it? Like, what's the best way you think? You eat and drink and put on your teeth Basic things. Basic, right. So that's why you have to use toothpaste, and toothpaste are basic to get rid of the acid. Ah! Before we end the video, I want to ask you, Ryan, you know how we always do the baking soda and science experiment video? Yeah. According to the chart, which one is an acid and which one is the base? So the baking soda is the basic. Uh huh. And the vinegar is the super duper acidic. Good. So it's kind of the same as the lemon. So do you think that if we replace the vinegar with lemon juice, will it still work? Hmm. Probably. Okay, let's find out. Instead of vinegar, we will use lemon juice because it will take too long for us to squeeze. And we're going to use the one that they already squeezed for us. Soda. Do you think it's gonna work? Maybe. It works! It's just a little bit less than the vinegar, but it works! Yeah. Oh, wow, look at it coming out. That's cool! Yeah. So you guys should also go out and try your own experiment. There's so many other items that you guys could test yeah. that we didn't test, like a soap or honey. What else can you think of? Or mayo, or, or mustard, or ocean water, ocean or salt water. Good idea. Yeah, if you guys test it, let us know. Hey guys, today we're gonna blow up balloons, with rock candy, and coke. So we got a whole bunch of rock candy here. Have you guys ever tried rock candy before? No. Yeah. yeah. You have? Yeah. How about I you guys? No, no, we didn't do it. You wanna no. try it? Yeah. Okay. So which flavor you wanna try? I want this one. Okay, so Emma wants to try blue, Kate wants to try grape, and Ryan? It's green apple. Green apple, okay. Okay, some green apple there. Some green apple. Some grape. Green. And some blue. Blue! Can you try Yeah, you guys can try it. And you don't have to chew, you just put it in your tongue and it's supposed to pop. Tell me if you feel the pop. Do you? I hear it too. <laughs> Do you feel the pop? Yeah, just put it in your tongue and then just keep it there. Uh huh. And close it. Close your mouth. Any popping? Whenever I eat it, I, I, and then I like do this, I feel, I hear a lot of pop. I know. Well, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Don't like it? Weird? Like it. You like it? Uh -huh. What about you guys? <laughs> 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 I don't feel the pop. You don't feel the pop? What about you, Emma? You yeah. probably ate it. Yes? Okay, you guys ready to blow up some balloons? Yeah! Okay, actually before we try to pop a balloon, we're gonna see what it looks like with the Coke. Okay, so everybody pour in their rock candy. Whoa! All of them? Yeah, all of them. All of them. There you go. <laughs> There's a lot of green. I know. Emma. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Diet Coke in there and see what it looks like. 
I know we have a lot more. Whoa. Oh, okay. I don't know if we need that much. <laughs> okay. oh. Wait, there's like, it's like kind of changing different colors, the Diet Coke. Do you see the pop in there? That's too much Diet Coke. Yeah, maybe we're adding too much, you guys. I, oh, no. maybe it, like, Do you guys hear the popping sound? Yeah. Oh, popping. Popping. Oh, oh, I'm going to put out more. Yeah. Do you see the popping? Thank you, Mommy. How does it taste? How does it taste? It tastes good. Does it? Yeah. Okay, just one little taste. <laughs> Thumbs up. It okay. kind of tastes like 1% of the taste of Sour Patch. Really? Yeah. Sour? Interesting. Okay, so. Sour. Yeah, okay, so now we're really going to do this experiment. Okay, first you're going to pick your balloons. Pink. Blue. Pink. Okay. Uh, change your mind. Pink. Okay. I like this thing. Okay. I like this thing. Got it. Put the in the yeah. So first, we put it. In. That's right. Good job, Ryan. Yeah. All right. We have a funnel to the balloon, and Ryan's gonna put the rock candy inside like that. Okay. We're gonna use both because we are courageous. Yeah. <laughs> go big or go home, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Go bigger. Go bigger. <laughs> Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, all right, you have to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, Ryan, here's for the hard part. Can you put your balloon over this without it going in? Yeah, okay. maybe. You got it? Mm-mm-mm. Got it. Got it. All right, Kate's turn. Oh. John, Kate, there you go. The whole thing. My dad. Yes, now Emma, your turn. Time. Yes, your turn, Emma. Okay, now Emma's turn, of course. But this part needs two. Yep, we're gonna try two. Probably works with one, but maybe we can get a bigger balloon, right? Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna put it down. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, whoa, the balloon is getting bigger. Look. It's so big, and I still see so, like, a lot of it. Yeah. Yours have a weird shape, Ryan. Yeah, Emma, yours working now. It's going down her. <laughs> oh no, it's going down her. And these are going down here. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully, what? Oh, oh, Emma's what? Just spilling. Oh, it's spilling? That's why we have a tray. It's spilling a little bit, but it's okay. That's why we have a tray, you oh, guys. Oh, mine's also spilling. I want to taste it. Okay. I'm gonna taste it. I want to taste it. I want to taste something out. Okay, when we're done, we can open it. You can taste it. Okay, okay guys, thanks for watching our video. Remember, always stay happy Bye. and rise up. Bye. Rise up like the balloon. Yeah. yeah. Let's look like a piggy. 
Mine good. looks very purpley. Uh, mine looks mm. bubbly, like bubbly. <laughs> mine looks purpley. Mine looks bubbly. Mine looks bubbly. Mine looks bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Mine looks bubbly, purpley, bubbly. I'm mother witch. <laughs> I like your laugh that much. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now put some toys in. What are the things? Yeah, anything you want. Ryan, put the cow. Baby elephant. The baby. And the baby. A Oh, and a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Now put the No, it's fine. You can put it. Try to I'm putting in a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just add in a couple. <laughs> sure. Okay. Whoa, chicken and rooster. Are you guys done? Yeah. Okay, Emma. Okay. <laughs> oh, another dinosaur. Whoa. All right, so mommy's gonna do that. Freezer time. Okay, we're gonna freeze it. All right, I think it's ready. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Wow, what food is this one? Oh, this one has ice on it because I accidentally put it in the ice tray. Is it cake or Brian? I don't remember. All right, let's take it out, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so now that we got it out of the that's what it looks like. Some of them have ice in it, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, Ryan did. Ryan put high with his hand there. So now these are vinegar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put vinegar into your baking soda. <laughs> oh! Yeah. So what we're trying to do is rescue the animals that we put in there. Rescue the animals. Yes, that's the goal. Rescue the animals. So why do we put the animals there? <laughs> They're having a fun bath. I'm trying to get this one animal. What was that? Did you guys see it? I don't know what it is. Now it's Teddy. Ooh. I'm saving both of them. That was a lot. I have a lot. I know. Whoa. Good job, Kay. Can you save the animals? Yeah, save the animals. The Lord, they're having a bath. They're having a bath? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What? Everybody helping each other? How nice. <laughs> Looks good, Emma. Yeah. Woo. I'm going to put the whole thing because it's not going that fast. <laughs> Me too. Whoa. You want to do that too? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> we need way more. Yeah. <laughs> Emma. All right, so now I'm just going to give him a cup of vinegar. Whoa, look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbling. It's bubbling. Yeah. Can we save the animals? Yeah. Can we okay. save the animals? What do you want that animal? Oh, oh, almost. Can you take it out? Let's see if Emma can take it almost. I cannot. <laughs> Ryan? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Whoa. Can you, can so you close. Can you the yeah. Oh, look, the animal's on the other side. Okay, guys, we are so close. We're going to try one more time. Can we rescue the animal? Oh, a lot water probably works a lot more. Yes, we actually warmed up a water. This is a look. fun video because the kids can help each other figure out how to rescue the animals. Mommy, it's almost getting out. Yeah, almost so close. You can see you can see the animals here. So close. Yeah. Ryan's so Whoa, close. It's yeah. Yeah. Look at mine now. Look. Look. I'm gonna get mine down. I know. That's that's the point. We gotta figure out how can we rescue the animals? Good idea! All right. Not strong hammers for us. Yeah, not strong, yeah. Good idea, Ryan. First, Mommy's gonna help put it into a tray so you guys can break it up. Look, we got one. Yay! Good job. 
Okay, this is Ryan. So I'll take it out for him. And it's almost done. Look, look at the back side. You guys Whoa. can see what animals he picked out. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Emma. Really, really close. Her front and back side here. She also picked a dinosaur. <laughs> we actually don't oh. have a hammer, but so I'm giving him a spoon. Whoa, Ryan, good job. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. paper that you drew and put half of both of the sides in the water. Now we wait. Watch the rainbow form. Look, it's already forming a little bit. Well guys, did you see? We made our own rainbow. Whoa. Let's put it right here. This is so cool. Did you see the marker die? Move up the paper towel and touch each other? Cause that's called capillary action. Did you know regular plants also use capillary action? Cause they bring the water from the roots and make it go all to the other parts of the plant. I hope you guys had fun making our own rainbow together. Hey guys, the holidays are coming up and you know what would be perfect? A science experiment with holiday ice hands. They're made out of ice and my job is to rescue them. Santa Claus right here. But first, here's how to make it yourself. Take it away, Mommy. Roll the clip. The first thing to do is gather all of your favorite holiday things. I also have some confetti and some sequins. And you can add in some fun glitter. Next, grab a pair of gloves and then just put in your favorite things. Here, I'm gonna put in a Christmas tree. 
some other fun things. Stocking. Little cute reindeer. Some fun Christmas patterns. Put it all in here. Some glitter. Then add in a few drops of food coloring. I'm gonna use green. Drop it in there. Then fill the glove up with some water. Fill it three-fourths way. And once you're done, tie it with a rubber band. Whee! Okay, here's my first hand. Okay, for my second glove, I'm gonna grab all this here too. Hi, Santa Claus. He goes into the glove. And cute little bill. Into the glove. Some fun Christmas trees. Some Christmas words. And some fun glitter. Who doesn't like glitter? <laughs> then a few drops of red food coloring. Then add water. Once you're three-fourths done, tie it with a rubber band. <laughs> okay, there's my red one. Look, I see Santa Claus. Do you guys see it? Once you're done, just put it in the freezer. There it is, I put it in the freezer. I'm gonna keep it overnight. Once it comes out here, it's all frozen. You guys see it? It's rock solid, hard. The red didn't stay very well. Should have added more red food coloring, but it comes up pretty good. Do you guys see Santa right there? Next, open up the rubber band and then cut. And peel. Very careful of the fingers and thumb. Once you're done, you'll have something like this. Isn't that cool? Look, be a snowman. Okay, here's the other one. Just peel and cut away. Look, there's Santa. Okay, and then it looks like this, but guys, look! I broke off the thumb! Oh no! Still okay, it's still fun. Look, there's Santa! Okay, well, let's get started. I'm gonna try to melt it with some warm water. Hmm. It's working a little bit. Wait, wait, I can feel the objects. It's working. Okay, okay. Did I get the button out? I got the button out. There you go. And there. I think this time I'll be able to free something. Oh wait, wait, wait I freed a, I freed socks. And a heart. Heart and socks. And a deer. Oh, and another sock. Don't worry, snowman, I'm coming for you. I think I have to put all the water in one spot. I think the snowman's out. Oh, oh, no, there's a chain. I'm gonna get the chain out. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I think I got him out. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Yes! Okay guys, I'm gonna try to pick it up. Oh, it's super cold and it's missing a pinky. Ah, this one's also missing a thumb. Okay Santa, I'm gonna try to rescue you now. If I put all of the force right here. Oh, there's another golden chain, no! Where does the golden chain leap to? Guys, the chain is super long. It's all the way up to here. What do I do now? I have an idea, I'm gonna go get a mallet, guys. Okay guys, I got two of them. But remember to ask your parents for permission. Cause my mom said yes, That's right mommy? Right. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's try this one first. I think that one will be stronger though. Whoa, whoa, it's working, it's working. Wait, Santa's out a little bit. Okay, maybe I should use this one now. Whoa. <laughs> Splashing a lot of water. What's well, breaking the ice? The ice is shattering. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put some more warm water. And this time it's even hotter. Whee! I got the chain out. Chain out. I think I can get Santa. I got Santa. Wait, and I got the gingerbread man. Whee! Yes, and the gingerbread man. Guys, one more, the bell. Okay. Come on, you can get it out. This time I'm gonna use the hammer again. Wah, 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 wah. Wait, did I get it out? Oh, I got other stuff out. 
Wait, I got the bell. I got the bell out. Yeah. Hey guys, are you tired of bubbles that always pop? Aww. Today I have a solution for you. Non-popping bubbles. Let's go. Hey guys, today we're gonna make bubbles that don't pop. But always ask a parent for help. So first, you need 100 milliliters of water, and then 50 milliliters of glycerin, and a squirt or one tablespoon of Dawn soap. Next, let's agitate, or another word for mix. Next, get a pipette and cut it right here. I'm gonna ask my daddy to help me. Hey, Ryan. All right, so we're we gonna cut right here. All right, I'm gonna cut this for Ryan. Boom. Is this what you wanted? Yeah. Next, you need some woolen gloves. And then you take the pipette, dip it in the water and glycerin, and then... There you go. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Whew. Let's try that again. Okay hey guys, we're gonna see till it pops. Oh, 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 it already popped. Now me and Daddy are gonna throw the bowls to each other until it pops. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Stop popping. Here you go. Whoa, whoa it's now. bouncing. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. 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 Okay guys, now I'm gonna make a bunch of bubbles and I'm gonna see how much me and Daddy can hold. I'm gonna break the world record! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! 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 Oh, come here! Oh, good boy, good boy. Whoa, Ryan, that's huge! Whoa! No. He bounced on your tummy! He on my tummy! Can I put it together? Oh! Whoa! Oh! Did you guys see it? It became one! Wait, so can we combine ours? Yeah! Oh, never mind. Oh, no. oh, it's away. Oh, no. huh? Ah, I popped. Ah. Or you can just uh, bounce it with your. Oh, Ooh, never yeah. mind. Ooh. Was well, so I made a giant one? Nice. Here you go. Ooh. Whoa, 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 wow. whoa. Can I throw mine at yours? Will yeah. yours pop? Wow. Oh, oh, ah, you're popping. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like a pet, you know. Can I pet this? Oh. <laughs> no, he's gone! Oh. Alright, my turn. Oh. Oh, I can't break the record. Okay oh. guys, so that's how you make a not popping bubble. Thank you for watching. Let's do a fun holiday science experiment. We're gonna make a baking soda Christmas tree. Obviously, first you need baking soda. All of it over here. Okay, so next we use one fourth cup of water. And you can use any color you want, but for a Christmas tree, I'm gonna use green. Whee! Next, let's mix it together. But I'm gonna use gloves, because I don't wanna get dirty. Mix it with the water too. Mix, mix, mix. I'm mixing them all together. Look guys, everything's almost green. Next, add in some glitter or anything you like. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's a lot. Okay, then I'm gonna add some of this. Ooh, that's a lot. Whoa. Next, mix it again. I have so many. Find yourself a party hat or anything that is shaped like a cone and then put the baking soda inside. Flip it over, make sure your hand is over like this. Whoa. Put it in the refrigerator. Sorry guys, I'm at freezer. Put it overnight or for a few hours. So my mom actually pre-made these for me and she said there's a surprise inside. There's a green one and a rainbow one. I'm gonna make it look like snow, so I'm gonna put baking soda all around. Here, here, here. Baking soda everywhere. I have warm water and Vinegar. We're gonna see which one reacts better. Okay, first I'm gonna try the warm water. Wait, I see something! 
Whoa. Whoa. It's a gingerbread man. I think I'll get him out this time. Yay, I got gingerbread man. Now I'm gonna test out the vinegar. Okay, three, two, one. Soda and we're using vinegar, it's gonna make a reaction. I think this one's way stronger. Okay guys, I'm gonna pour the whole thing now. Whoa, oh, it's touching the other one. Whoa, wait, I see something. It's a reindeer, guys. Don't worry, reindeer, I'm coming for you. Double vinegar. Hot water into the vinegar, then it's gonna be hot vinegar, then boom, extra straw. Whoa. Oh no. I got him out, yay. My mom says there's actually two more surprises. Let's find them. And I just took out a big part. So I think I'm gonna do that with this part too. Okay. Ooh, almost there, one more, one more. Yeah! I'm gonna dump the whole thing. Whee! Now I'm gonna pour all of the warm water. Whee! Whoa! That's super strong. I see something. It's Santa! Yeah, we saved Santa. Okay guys, there should be one more here. Wait, I see something. I'm gonna save you! Oh, there's something here. No. Oh wait, where'd it go? No. Guys, I'm using a spoon. Oh, I found something. It's a mitten. I hope you enjoyed my baking soda Christmas tree science experiment. Hi guys, today I'm going to microwave a bar of ivory soap and see what happens. What do you think will happen, Ryan? Do you think it's gonna melt? Do you think it's gonna become bigger or smaller? Disappear? Here. What do you think? Disappear. Disappear? I guess we'll find out. So what I want you to do first is I have water here and I want you to put the ivory soap into water. And first we're gonna see if it's gonna sink or float, okay? Okay. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Maybe float. Okay, let's try it. Ooh. It's floating. Yes, yeah, so there it is. It actually floats in water. We don't have other bars of soap, but if you have a different brand, you can see if it also sinks or floats. These are ivory brand. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean when it floats on water? More mm -hmm. dense or less dense than water? Uh, less dense. Good job. The bar of ivory soap floated because it's less dense than water, probably because there's lots of air holes inside, okay? Yeah. So we're actually gonna cut it open and see. Okay, I'm gonna cut the bar of soap in half. All right, so I cut it more. If you examine it very closely, it has like little holes of uh, emptiness. I guess it's where all the air is. Are you ready to microwave it? Yeah. All right, so we got our new ivory bar of soap here. Put it in the microwave, closing it. Start. There we go, all right. We are keeping our eyes on the bar of soap. Make sure you use a microwavable, safe plate. See? There's like stuff coming out of it. It's hard it's to see because. You see like of... the stuff? Oh, I do see. You guys see? Whoa. Keep your eyes on it. Look, guys. It's a little bit hard to see, but look, it's expanding. Yeah, it's expanding by a lot. Whoa. I think it's melting the soap or something. Whoa, guys, look. That's big. Should we stop it? It's going to go all over the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Whoa. Whoa, guys, look at this. Whoa, whoa, it's like the whole microwave. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> do, you get, do you smell anything? A little bit. It smells like soap? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it looks fluffy like marshmallows. Okay, done. Okay, only adults do this because it might be hot. Oh! Whoa. Did you expect that? No. So what happened? It got melted and then it got bigger. It expanded. Yeah. Yeah. Look, super expanded, look at that. Okay, only adult touch this, it might be hot. 
Whoa, don't touch it yet. Okay, it might be hot. Okay, we're gonna wait for a little bit. But just looking at it, what does it look like? Toilet paper. Toilet. That's you like uh, scramble it a lot. Got it. It looks like toilet paper to it Ryan. A lot. Kind of looks like whipped cream. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so safe to touch now, Ryan. Touch it and see what it. Whoa. What does it, it look like? It feels like maybe uh, like cotton candy. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's a little bit more rough. Yeah, so this one actually only works with ivory soap. But wait! No, I don't understand. How does it work? So why did the ivory soap expand to the microwave? When it was made, there are air that is trapped inside the mixture. And because of the air, that's why it floats in water. So when you put the soap in the microwave, the air and the water molecules that was in the soap starts to heat up, vibrate and expand and spread farther apart. They push us against the rest of the soap molecules, expanding the bar into a fluffy cloud blob. Do you guys like popcorn? It works the same way. Water inside the kernel expands and pushes on the walls as it's being heated inside the microwave. The water will turn into steam and expand and pushes along the wall of the kernel until pop, the kernel explodes and we have a yummy piece of popcorn. Mm. That was so cool. Let's get back to Ryan. Now Emma wants to touch it. Yeah, so Emma, this is soap. Apparently. It's like coming apart. Why oh, you microwave it? Well, because I wanted to show Ryan how soap expands when you microwave it. Look. See? But it's all it's mushy. My fingers. Yeah, but it's okay. It's just soap. We can go wash your hands. Okay? Isn't it cool? Yeah. Hi, guys. Today, I'm doing the dinosaur's dig kit, but with animals, and also one dinosaur, and... Animals! Roar! So this is a do-it-yourself-at-home science experiment. So all you need to do is add cornstarch. That's a lot. That uh, is a lot of cornstarch. We're making a giant dig site, Ryan. Are we using all of it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Woo. Get ready. This video is going to be messy, you guys. Epically messy. Yeah, so please do it with an adult or do it outside, except it's super hot outside right now, so that's why we're doing it inside. Already very messy. One more, I know. Better outside, but outside right now, it's like, whoa. Oh! It's like 90 degrees, so we are risking it indoors. Oh! Ah, oh, poor animals, already covered in cornstarch. So I'm gonna make my water kind of look brown like sand. Uh, eat, eat. Now I'm gonna mix it. Ooh, already. Perfect. Oh, it's out of, there we go. Oh, this one's better. Okay, now we're gonna have to add the water into our giant cornstarch. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of water. We're actually making oobleck. Have you guys ever had oobleck before? Oh, we're making oobleck? Yeah, this is like oobleck, do you remember? Uh-huh, I remember. Oobleck is a substance that, it's a fluid where it could be a solid or a liquid, it's depending. Both. Yeah, it's both, all right. Depending how much pressure or force you add. But next, all we're gonna do is just agitate. Agitate, agitate. agitate. <laughs> it's very hard, it's uh, very sticky, huh? Yeah. It feels, does it feel like quicksand, or what does yeah. it feel like? Maybe, yeah, I like quicksand. Like mud. Oh, wait, it's already oobleck. Yeah, you feel it? <laughs> it's like down here already oobleck. All right, guys, so we're gonna keep mixing it, and then we'll show you guys when it's ready. Okay, guys, we got our oobleck. Look, it's a liquid. All right, you guys, I see it's a little bit hard, but you guys can see, when you pick it up, it's it runs. Liquid. Yeah. But, if you punch it, it's solid. Whoa. You pick up a whole bunch, and then you just squeeze it like this. It's hard like a rock. See? Super hard. But if you let it go, it just drips like a liquid. Uh-huh. Isn't it cool? Uh-huh. Time 
time to bury the toys. Goodbye, Mr. Lion. How could you sink that quicksand? Oh, 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 we can go down. Bye bye, see you soon. Yeah, if we see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Dinosaur. Bye bye, Shark. He's going down into the water. Bye bye, Mr. Giraffe. Wait, how is this one gonna like go all the way in like this? I guess so. Should have picked smaller toys. These toys are too big. Goodbye, Mr. Elephant. Uh. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Octopus. Or Mrs. I don't really know. Yeah, it could be a girl, it could be a boy. We don't want to assume. We're gonna try to bury them the best we could. Probably not gonna work. <laughs> But it's fun. It's hard to pick up, huh? Uh-huh. Because I'm regular to picking up things with force. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. But, if but you you're not supposed to use force. Yes, if you use force, it becomes a solid. But it's like hard to pick it up because when you pick it up, you have to use force. You're right, yeah. <laughs> elephant. Yay, almost done. Elephant. Almost got the elephant. Yeah. How are we gonna rescue the animals? Um, that's for you to find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now my daddy's gonna bring it outside. Oh, it looks heavy. Yeah, there's so many animals in here. It's heavy. <laughs> okay guys, we are gonna wait for it to dry probably in one or two days. See you soon. Okay guys, so it's been about a month and Look at all these animals. It looks so hard. Yeah. Are you ready to see if you can break them free? Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Did it work? <laughs> but wait. Oh. What did we forget? Oh, glasses. That's yeah. right. Very important for your eyes. Good. And you know, it's kind of hot outside, so we're going to take it inside, okay? <laughs> okay, guys. We're back inside. You ready to get started? Yeah. Yep, and only do this with an adult supervision. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, look, there's somebody's tail right there. Oh, you see? Yeah. It's like a dig site. Yeah. Wait, I think. What is that? Ooh. Do you remember that animal? What is it? Get it. Octopus. Hi, octopus. Ooh. Turtle, you wanna get out, turtle? I can already pull it out. Woohoo! Nice. Turtle. Okay, and then we have a few more left. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay! Yay oh. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. What about me, Mr. Giraffe? I'm stuck. Can you help me out? Who is that? Dinosaur. Hi, Mr. Dinosaur. Okay, I think we have one left. Lion. Mr. King of the Jungle. Yeah. Uh, I think we miss Mr. Sharky here. Oh, yeah. Help me, Ryan. Save me. Save me. Oh, so much on Mr. Sharky. I know. <laughs> Yay, I saved everybody. Yay. Hi guys, today I bought a crystal growing kit and we're gonna grow crystals! Yay! Welcome to Ryan's world! Did you know the most common crystals are salt and sugar? First up, the crystal powder. First we're gonna do white. Next is red. Last is blue. Next up, you have to ask a parent for help. You have to put boiling water in. Yeah, you gotta watch out because it's really hot. Yeah. Whoa! You see the steam coming out? Be careful. I love the color. Look at it. Last one. Make sure you don't touch it. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Next up, be very careful, but you have to stir it for five minutes. 
Okay, I think all the crystals dissolved. Now we gotta wait 10 minutes, and I'm gonna play with Legos. If you guys are curious, I'm building Minecraft. And these are all the things I made so far. This is a snow golem, and these are bookshelves, and this is a bed, and this is an enchanting table, and this is Steve with a, a, a obsidian pickaxe, and this is a hidden treasure chest, and this is a cow, and this is probably an anvil, I don't really know what that is. And these four things are torches, and I don't know what these are. And here's my favorite spider. What the? Now we gotta put in the crystal starters. Just have to wait and see our crystal grow. Guys, it's been a whole week, and look what happened. You can see the crystals inside. Let's pour out the white crystal. Now let's pour out the blue crystal. Now let's pour out the red crystal. Whoa, it looks so cool. But now I need to wait eight hours for it to dry. I took out the crystals. Here's what it looks like. Whoa. It comes with a display case, and I can put these crystals on the lights. So you can turn them on like this. Today we're gonna make oobleck. And once we're done, we're gonna make it vibrate like this. vegetable alarm clock. It helps me wake up. And I'm gonna show you how to make one on your own. Let me show you how to make your own alarm clock. Let's go. Hi guys, so today we're gonna be using 10 different vegetables or fruits and we're gonna see if they can power this alarm clock. So we have potatoes, apples, avocados, tomatoes, mangoes, lemons, bananas, strawberries, grapes, and watermelons. First, we're gonna try the classic potato. It was made for potato, so I think it's gonna work. Three, two, one. Oh. So if you notice here, look at the alarm clock. Does, is it working yet? Not yet. We got this kit online, so it comes with a magnesium wire and a copper wire. You have to connect this too. It, this? Uh-huh. Hi. Yeah. And here. All right, you tell me, is the alarm clock working? Look, it's working! Yeah, it turns on. It's got enough energy. <laughs> yeah, so we have to manually set it, but you know, there it is. King of a potato food. works! I'm gonna use a potato for my alarm clock tonight. Okay, now let's try the next one. Next, I'm gonna test out the apple. And do the opposite on the other one. Yeah, so like... Up there you here. go. Moment of truth. Does it work? It works! Yay, so an apple can also power it on. Ooh. You know it's true because look what happened when I take out one, okay? If I take out one, it stopped working. But if I plug it back in, Whoa. it works. I'm really interested for this one. The avocado? Yeah. Guys, let us know if you think avocado <laughs> can power on the alarm clock. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Oh, I think it's gonna work. You think so? Yeah. You guys notice right now, nothing's on, right? So it doesn't work right now. So Ryan's gonna put it in. Can you use an avocado alarm clock tonight? Wait, did it mess up? 
I don't know what. You're supposed to put this. No, that's right. Yeah, it's supposed to be opposite. Uh -huh. mm. You need that to complete a circuit. Does it work? <gasps> Avocado Whoa. work! Whoa. Now the most interesting one is watermelon. That's true. That one we're not sure. Also tomato. Well, no, I think tomato will work. Tomato will work? Okay, let's see. Now we're gonna try tomatoes. They're really messy. Don't poke it too hard. I don't know. Pop. Then like this. Does it work? It works. It does work. Wow. Maybe we do need just fruits and vegetables. <laughs> power our alarm clocks. <laughs> You think fruits and vegetables can power on your iPad? Oh. That's a fun experiment to do later. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now let's try mango. Oof. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's bending the wire. Here. And then one. Yeah, so you need the other part to make like a circle, you know, to complete the circuit. That's why you need it. Actually, the potato clock works by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. Did you know that the energy doesn't actually come from the potato? But rather, the energy comes from the metal dissolving inside the potato. The energy made from the reaction moves to the copper strip, down the wire, and into the clock, making the clock turn on. That's spectacular! <laughs> there you go. Yeah! Wow, everything worked so far, look! Yeah. Which one do you want to try next? I want to try the... Banana. The banana, wow, that's, that's interesting. Banana. I think it'll work. You think so? I think cast energy. Yeah. <laughs> now let's try banana. I'll try it like this. Okay. <laughs> so it's easier to do positives and negatives. Well, I'll put it here. Yeah, put it anywhere you like. Well? It's showing a different time, but yeah. Oh, it does work! Yay! You can have a banana clock! Oh, <laughs> now let's try. <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? The lemon's gonna work? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, it's gonna work. It's hard to poke in. And it has a smell. <laughs> See, right now it is not on, you guys. Three, two, one. What do you think it's gonna do, work or not? Definitely work. I don't even have to poke it in. What? That's crazy. So I guess you don't really need a lot of power. So, so far, everything works so far. Oh. Which one do you wanna try next? These oh, three I'm very interested yeah. in. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. The strawberry? The swab wire. You barely have to poke this in to poke it in. I'm gonna see if we can do the same thing we did with the lemon. Oh, good idea. Look, look yeah. at it. Wow, very cool. Which one do you want to do on me? Grapes or watermelon? Watermelon. Okay, because grapes, it's so small. I know. Is it going to work? Because it's so tiny. Do you think watermelon's going to work? I Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's so easy to poke in. Yeah. What? Is it working? What? Guys, I didn't even need to complete the circuit. It just powers on with two. Wow, I didn't know watermelon is so powerful. Well, well, well. <laughs> but this makes it a lot more powerful. So it does work. Oh. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> now let's try the last one in the most. Wait, how is this going to work? I don't know. It's so small. How are we going to make it opposite and positive? You have to stick them very gently. Can you do it? Yeah, I did one. Now I do the other one. Okay, so, so far it's not working. Let's see. What? <laughs> <It didn't work. laughs> grapes can power on a clock. Look at that, you guys. Just two grapes. <laughs> That's it. That's all we need. Two grapes. Don't need a whole potato, you just need two grapes. Well, what if you just try one of them? Yeah. With all of them. It's working. <laughs> yeah, all you need is one fruit. Ah, one grape it is. It does work, look. Just one, two, we don't even need to complete the circuit. It's so powerful. <laughs> this is the most powerful. Yeah, I think all you need is one, Ryan. Yes. I'm like this. 
So Ryan's trying out different ones. So one tomato and one lemon. It works! Woohoo! Okay guys, I'm gonna take my alarm clock to bed. Let's go! Bye guys, I'm gonna go to bed now. And that's how you make a fruit and vegetable alarm clock. Bye! All you need is cornstarch and water. Aqua. Okay, so you're gonna need two full cups of cornstarch. Whoa. Whoa. One. One. Two. Now my mom's gonna put in food coloring for me. So this is optional, you can put any color you like. Ryan likes purple, so I'm putting in. And one cup of water, don't forget, always ask a grown up for help, and never eat your science experiment, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Whee! Time to mix. Okay, so while Ryan's mixing, I'm gonna actually make my own so I can pick different colors. So, again. Two cups of cornstarch. One, two. Ooh, ah. I'm gonna pick red. Red. Whee. Okay, and one cup of water. Whee. Oh, look, it's looking red already. Time to mix. We're having Mommy. a agitating mixing party. Mommy, it's yes. already kind of working. Oh, nice. Yeah. See? Um, wow. Okay, it's done! Whoa, look at this! It's like slime! Yeah. It's so liquidy. I'm gonna make a ball. <laughs> now I have a, a ball. Oh, it's melting ball! Whoa. Whoa, look how it's melting through my fingers! Yeah, it's so cool! <laughs> how much can you pick up, Ryan? I can pick up a lot. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> hey, Ryan, do you know if ooh black like this, it's a solid or liquid? I think it's a solid. Uh huh. And it's a liquid. It's called non-Newtonium fluid. Oh, so Ryan already knows. That's right. So what happens is when you pick it up, it flows down like a liquid, right? When you, if you squeeze it really hard, it feels like a solid. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pick it up like really weak and using barely any energy and it's uh, really easy. <laughs> Why don't you try to punch at it? And what does it feel like when you punch at it? Here. Yeah. Boxing gloves. It's really hard to punch. It is because it's a solid. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, are you ready to make other colors? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, snap. Snap. Whoa. Whoa. So there it is. We made all different color ooh black. So we got pink. We got orange. We got blue. We got yellow and green. Now, let's make a vibration party. <laughs> okay guys, we got a giant speaker. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need something with a lot of bass so we can see the ooh black vibrate. Now, before we begin, the music's gonna be very, very loud. So, there we go. Get noise cancellation headphones. Okay, Ryan, do you even hear me? Ryan? Oh, he doesn't even hear me. Okay, guys, let's get the ooh black and let the dance party start. Are you ready? He's ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm pouring it in. I'm so excited. Okay. Whoa!
Okay, that was like so cool. Ryan, you can take off your headphone now. Take off your headphones. There, do you hear me now? Yeah. Okay guys, that was like the most amazing thing. We're gonna clean up and we're gonna test out mine, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try out the red ooh black. What? What? Red? Okay, all right guys, let's get the party started again. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. why the vibration makes the ooh black jump up and down to have a dance party? I think so. Why? Do you know? You want me to explain it for you? Because the vibration like makes it move, so it's like... Oh, <laughs> that's right, yeah. But here's also another reason why. The dancing parts of the ooh black are actually sound waves moving through the solution. If you change the pitch or frequency of the music, the sound waves will make the ooh black dance differently. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Bye. And be very careful because your hands will get dirty. So you have to wash it with soap. Bye.